afternoon, yes, boy. It is uh, Thursday, October 27th. I'd like to bring my private land across from my house. This is the first time I've been out since Saturday. And uh, last Friday and Saturday was uh, only two days I've hunted in almost two weeks. Uh, I had a little bit of health issue, got a fight in the science infection. Yeah, it's getting better now. I'm finished, just finished up antibiotics and getting ready to finish up on steroids, so I'm pretty much taking care of it. Um, back on overtime at work, we're on mandatory nine hour days, so it's not going to hurt me too bad to freaking next week when the stupid time changes. I hate that. Uh, that's probably going to interfere with my public land hunting anyway. I'll probably do a lot more hunting in the evenings up here. I might, might be able to get in quick hunt up here, but probably not too often. But I'm walking through the field now. My full is about 50 yards back that away. I'll turn the camera around. It's easier to do. I gotta get to the end of this field. Up on that little knoll back here. Right back here. I'm about 150, 20 yards from my treat I'm getting in tonight. Um, good gosh, this is what, fourth week of the season? And uh, so it's second, this will be the second time I've hung up here in this spot. Um, Hopefully this video makes it out because my last video I have tried to load five times and it is not loaded. We are having some major issues with our internet service. Um, the weekend that I tried to upload it the first time it was the like end of the second week. Um, we had that internet from, we got up Saturday morning, it was out. Then came back on the Tuesday afternoon. <clears throat> and every time I try to load my video, it kicks for some reason. Uh, Keeps our internet service off. So, but it's still spotty. It goes in there all the time anyway. But uh, anytime I try to load a video, I'm just pulling too much at once. So, uh, try one more time. If it happens again, I'm going to get the boss on them. Trust me, they don't want to deal with her. So, anyway, guys, I'm probably within about 100 yards, 150 yards of my tree here. So, this is the only entry I'm going to do up here. I'll do some video and some critters that kind of done here. Hope you get a shot tonight. Uh, it is a little warm. It's in mid 60s right now. It's supposed to cool a little bit off this weekend. I plan on having public land tomorrow evening and Saturday morning. I'm nice at eight point. Uh, I found his natural scrape. He's been hitting a little bit. Checked myself camera a little bit ago. Had a doe come through this morning and this evening. So hopefully he's, he's not far, not too far behind. So I'm gonna stop here. So you can hear me over these leaves. I'm not going to talk very loud. I'm probably within about 100 yards of my tree right now. So uh, I'm going to get up here and get in, get in stealth mode. And uh, it's 20 minutes till 5 right now. So by the time I get up here and get settled in, i got about two hours. By 7 o'clock, it's probably going to be too dark to shoot up here. So anyway, like I said, just uh, stick with me and we'll see what happens. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is uh, Friday. you got to look at my phone here. <laughs> it's October 29th. I write the date all day long at work. I still have trouble remembering it. Uh, it's Friday afternoon, October 28th, uh, it's 4.30 right now, and I'm up here on some public land, uh, I'm getting ready to go back here and hit a tree, by 7 o'clock it's going to be too dark to shoot, so I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm going to get this quick, uh, went on uh, private land, uh, hunting right next to my house last night, I uh, got about almost a two hour hunt in last night, didn't see, I saw two deer on a neighbor's property, uh, First one was probably about 30, 40 minutes before dark. Several hundred yards away, I just saw it walking through a field in between some trees. Come, I got my binoculars out, I couldn't see it anymore. Uh, but I could tell it was a big body deer. It's the only one I saw um, with it. I didn't know if there was any other ones with it or not. I should have watched it, didn't see anything. And then about 10 minutes before dark, uh, probably a lot closer to me, probably a little over 100 yards away, right on the edge of the field, property line. I saw a smaller deer walking around the edge of the field. It looked like it was feeding or whatever. I couldn't really see much about it. Same thing, time I got my binoculars out, it was already in some brush. Couldn't see it. So, uh, I do have a cell camera on a scrape down here. Actually, two scrapes. I put up a little about a week and a half ago. And uh, got a really nice, pretty sure he's an eight point. Uh, and then I've mentioned this before. And, uh, it's, uh, they got a size restriction on the bucks up here. They got to have a. 14 inch outside spread to be legal up here. He would definitely do that, but man, he's a unique deer. His G, I guess you call them the G2, it's the first big brown tines. Man, those things are huge. They are long, and uh, he's, he's kind of tall. He's a nice, um, 
He had been on camera in about four days. I bought some stuff to uh, spice up this uh, scrape with. Um, got a pretty decent wind. Well, I actually got a good wind to put the sin in the scrape because it's going to be blowing right back towards the bedding area where I believe he's, he might be hanging out at. And uh, But I'm going to be about 20 foot up in the tree, so hopefully my wind, he don't catch me if he does come in. Uh, I do plan on hunting this very same spot, the same tree in the morning, so, uh, you know, I'm going to get in here tonight get about two. I got, I'll be pushing to get a two-hour hunt in. Um, like I said, it's 4.30 now. i got to get out of my truck and get dressed. And, yeah, I do wait till I get dressed when I go hunting. At, uh, I keep my clothes and stuff in a tote here, and I'll get outside the truck and get dressed. And when I come out of Wood Sydney, I get undressed outside the truck and put them back in the tote again. So i get that done, uh, get some stuff sprayed down here real quick, and uh, just takes me about 10 minutes, probably a little less than that to get ready. Get all my gear and stuff together, and it's probably about a 15 minute walk back here where I'm going to. So, uh, hopefully, I will be up in the tree by five o'clock if everything goes well and give me right two hours. Uh, I do have a doe coming through there pretty regular. So, now my cell camera just called him, she might take a picture of her, and I've got a several pictures of it's something's triggered and it's in the game picture. So, I don't know if he's been chasing her by, he just got through too quick. I'm hoping that's the deal, but uh. That's pretty much what I'm holding out for tonight and tomorrow. Uh, you know, I'm, it's hard to believe we're five weeks into the season. I haven't got anything yet. Uh, but these last two weeks, I have only been in the woods just probably like three times the last two weeks. Just, uh, one of us been had a battle on my nasty science infection. I had some, and there's some other things too. But uh, there's a couple of days I could have been in the woods. Uh, just uh, for whatever reason, didn't make it in there. So. Uh, but uh, after hitting it pretty hard the first three weeks, uh, seeing a lot of deer. So, but now is the time to get in there, guys. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna make this quick and short. Uh, probably won't say anything else on the tree. Probably won't say anything when I get out tonight unless I get something. So, uh, that being said, if I don't, you don't see me on camera anymore tonight, uh, I'll see you probably back here in the morning.
All right, guys, it's uh, Saturday, uh, it's uh, October 29th, it's uh, 12 o'clock, it's noon. Uh, I got out of the tree about 30, 40 minutes ago. Um, hunting the same tree I hunted last night, I'm going around public land this morning. Uh, I saw three squirrels last night, saw a ton of squirrels this morning. I know a couple of them are the same ones over again, but I know one time I saw probably five or six, maybe seven squirrels one time. They were just chasing each other around and all that stuff, so. Uh, but anyway, um. Not sure how much I've already mentioned in this video. Uh, but I'll go ahead and give you a lot today. I didn't do a uh, interview this morning. I got here a few minutes later than I wanted to, and I wanted to hurry and get back in there. Um, found these two scrapes back here, natural scrapes, uh, about two weeks ago, and uh, put a cell camera on them. And uh, there's an A point in here. I've got a couple pictures of them on different areas up in this same general area, but a couple of different spots I've got a couple of different pictures on him. He was in there last Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, uh, turning that scrape up, and then he was in there Monday morning, like 1 a.m., last pictures I had of him, and then a couple times this week I've had uh, a couple pictures of does come through there and got pictures of them, and I noticed the scrapes had leaves in them, they was covered up, so I come up here yesterday evening, Friday, and I know it's going to be a quick hunt, I only got to hunt like two hours, got in there, cleaned both the scrapes back out, and got some golden esters, special golden esters, a little bit of that, and I put some on a scent wick and hung it on the branch above it, and I poured just a little bit on the ground. Well, I didn't expect to see anything last night, and, but I was hoping that scent would linger around to last night and then this morning, maybe draw something in. And uh, so I got this morning at 501, I checked my camera at 501, that was a buck on that scrape, that was a, either a doe or a small buck, I couldn't really tell from the picture because it was dark but like 9 15 last night there was a deer that hit that scrape and then at 501 this morning i could tell it was a buck and he not the one i'm hoping to see but i could definitely tell he was a buck and he looked kind of wide so you know the guy had that 14 inch restriction up here so i was like man so i got up here got back in there and i got in the tree about seven o'clock and it was just starting to get light enough where you could pretty much see but i couldn't shoot anything you know, I could just barely start to sit around the ground and stuff. So I thought it'd be a pretty good, pretty good day. Well, throughout the morning, about every 45 minutes or so, I'd use the cane call, my grunt call, and and hopes of maybe something cruising by. Nothing. And then about 10 o'clock, I heard something. I looked down to my right, and within 30 yards, there was a small buck. I think it was a four point. I got some pictures. I had a pretty good video of him. He come from my right hand side which that's where I probably thought they would come from so I think it's a doe bedding area over here. He came out of that and went right to the two scrapes and he made a nut, his own scrape right beside one of the other ones. He actually covered up one of the other ones by breaking the leaves back to make his scrape. But I did get that on video. And uh, of course obviously he was too small but even if they didn't have a restriction up here I wouldn't have shot him. He was a, he was a very pretty small young deer. Enjoyed watching him though. And he moved off. He was there for a couple minutes, and he moved off. Didn't have a clue I was there. And then about 15 minutes later, I looked, kept looking over in the direction where he come from, and I could see a deer walking through some brush. And it was kind of angling away from me, so I grabbed my can call out of my jacket, and I hit it one time. 
I mean, he'd whip his head up and turn around, and he'd kind of start coming my way. Well, he stopped in behind some trees. I think I got the video right before he stopped behind these little trees. I got a video of him. Anyway, he stopped behind these little clump of trees that the other buck had made a scrape at, and where the other two scrapes were at. And I thought, man, he's going to step up there and start working a scrape. And I was looking at him, and I was like, man, he's close to being legal up here. And I got to looking at him, I said, man, I think it's an eight-point. And I said, if he's legal, if he's wide enough, I'm shooting. Well, he stood there for a few minutes, and there was just a small opening, you know, how, how well you can tell in the, in the camp, in the video. But he just, he shot right across that opening into some brush to my left. And so I turned the camera off because I couldn't see him. I could see a piece of his body. Anyway, he stood over there for a second and just raked a, raked a little tree up, I guess. I could see him over there moving around, heard some noise. And uh, then I could see him working his way through this little thicket right in front of me. It's right to my left. And he was about, and he'd come out and hit right to the edge of it. And he was about 25, 30 yards right in the edge of it, stopping just looking around. So he's an older deer. He don't step out in the opening unless he looks around. And it was just a little bit of an opening and then he, before he got back over in the woods. And he was standing there looking around. And I already had my bow in my hand. And he stepped out of that clearing. I got the camera back on him. And I actually clipped my release on my bow. And I was sitting there debating, shoot or not, shoot or not, shoot or not. And I was like, oh, man. I mean, I couldn't make up my mind. I regret now I'm not shooting it. Because I had a beautiful quarter away shot and probably 25 yards. He didn't have a clue I was there. And... Uh, like I said, he just stood, you can see in the video, he just stood there for a second, and then he walked off, and he walked over into the edge of the woods, and not too far over, it's got a pretty steep, steep drop off, and down over the hill right there somewhere is where the public lane ends, and the private, I don't know the guy, I don't know the guy but the, the guy who owns the big chunk of private and right next to it, it's about 300 acres, uh, I've talked to his stepmom and his dad up here a couple times. So, and that's where that buck was heading. That's where the smaller buck went through about 15 minutes earlier. So that's where he was heading. And he went over to the edge and same thing. Before he went over, he stopped just for a minute and just scanned the area. And then he went over the hill. As he walked off, I hung my bow up and I had a little bit of regret there. Not, not a lot, because I know there's a lot bigger bucks in here. But I just, I'd really like to get a pup clan buck. And just that stupid restriction up here. Last couple of years, I've spent a lot of time up here. And I've seen a lot of bucks that I would shoot in a heartbeat. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for now. I'm going to uh, hit some private land this evening and, uh, you know, see what this evening brings. But uh, if we get this video, hopefully get this radio wrapped up this weekend with uh, having action or not. Besides what I've already got. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm doing my little intro on my little uh, Paseco action cam here. I take this thing with me on every hunt, and uh, a lot of times I put it up here on my tether rope up here in front of me to get a second angle, but half the time I don't even put it up, or a lot of times I don't even get it turned on during the hunt, so I've been wanting to uh, use it a little bit more. I actually got a, down, a video downloaded at the house right now. Hopefully it'll be up sometime tonight or in the morning. Had a few shots using this thing for the last couple of weeks, so I figured I'd do my intro on it this evening. Uh, it's Sunday, it's October 30th, uh, it's 5 o'clock, uh, by 7 it'll be too dark to shoot. It's been cloudy and overcast all day, and as soon as I climb this tree, the sun comes out. This is one bad thing I hate about this tree. It's a perfect tree, I can hide up here pretty good, but on a sunny day in the evening, the sun's hit me right in the face, and in the morning, the sun comes up pretty much older. But it's been overclassed all day, and I'm telling you, the minute I got here, started climbing up the tree, the sun popped out. But we got rain coming in sometime tonight. It's supposed to rain on and off the next two days. So I'm not sure how much hunting I'll be getting doing then. But I uh, hunted public land yesterday morning, saw two bucks. I uh, hunted the farm behind the house yesterday evening, saw a buck right at dark. Uh, didn't even get close to getting a shot on it. Uh, hunted down on the other end of the property this morning, saw uh, a spike and a small, very small eight point. I've seen it a couple times. Uh, the eight point didn't give me a shot, I could have shot spike, but uh, I was waiting on um, Had several year and a half old doves in there. Um, thought about shot one of them, and the time I decided to make the shot, they all decided just to walk away, all three of them in different directions, straight away from them, and give me a shot. So, with that being said, I am going to turn this off, and uh, I said hopefully I can just remember to start putting this, turn this thing on, use it a little more. So, uh, 
tomorrow's Halloween, you can tell. I keep my mask on 24-7, 365. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I always like to hunt on Halloween if I can. Uh, depends on what the weather's doing while I get on tomorrow. So, guys, we'll uh, catch you on the next one.